Thank you, Carla, for inspiring us with your story. And thank you to Dr. Clark and Dr. Halle for your enlightening presentations. I've been supporting my husband who's living with metastatic pancreatic net for over nine years. And together we faced many treatment decisions along the way. Many of these decisions are not easy. Dr. Hendefar, I'm wondering why you might recommend someone see a net expert. I think that's a great question. I, I don't mean to be self-serving, but uh, patients with neuroendocrine tumors have a, a complex situation quite often. And not only that, but it's a rare disease. So it's super helpful to get in touch with a physician or a team of doctors that have a lot of experience taking care of other patients in similar situations so they can draw upon their experience to really provide you the best care available. Ah, thank you, that's really helpful. And Dr. Lee, many people say in our support groups, Man, there are so many options available to me. Why can't you just tell me what to do? I just want someone to tell me exactly what to do. Yeah, I think that's a great question. You know, that's a question that we encounter a lot. And I would say the main reason why we can't just tell you what treatment you should get is that everyone's neuroendocrine cancer diagnosis is really unique um, because this is a uh, very diverse group, as I mentioned, of uh, different types of cancers and uh, really requires that individualized and personal approach. Uh, but in addition to that, you know, how one responds to a, uh, a neuroendocrine tumor diagnosis is very different as well. What I mean by that is that all of us are unique individuals, all of us in terms of what we want, in terms of our goals as well as priorities from uh, treatment is very different. So because of that reason, everyone's ultimate journey uh, with a diagnosis of neuroendocrine tumor is uh, super personalized and super unique. Very nuanced and personalized. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Mary, you've been there too. How do you as a patient for the last 19 and a half years work with your medical team to figure out what treatment is right for you? Well, this is kind of an interesting one for the reasons that both Dr. Hennifer and Dr. Lee mentioned. Um, you know, NETS puts a very unique spin on making these kind of decisions. Um, and I guess I mean that because there is just no clear cut way to proceed when you're at a treatment crossroads, which I've been at many times in, in my 19 years. So, and this is kind of unique to in the cancer world. Um, so I guess my biggest stress, which has already been mentioned, is having a net specific multidisciplinary team is my absolute number one suggestion at your institution. And that way you're getting all different specialties weighing in on your case so you can make an educated future decision on treatment. And then the other one I highly recommend is getting a second and or third opinion. Um, there's just too many complications and complexities not to hear from multiple physicians and specialties regarding making these decisions. So you feel confident, which really is um, gives you so much self-confidence and I think just ease uh, making your decision in the future. We want that ease. Thank you, Mary. Uh, Beth, what about you? You've been there too. What would you have to add? Nets is a learning process continually. And when my first point of contact, I became vulnerable, open communication, and very transparent with Dr. Singh. So we were able to create a close bond and understand and, and speak to each other openly. And, and he could tell when I wasn't ready to move on and when I was ready to move on, because this is your team. They all have the same goal and their goal is to help you. And that gives me hope. Wow, hope is what we need. Thank you so much for sharing your process. So in this next session, we hope to deepen your understanding of net treatments. So we welcome our next set of guests. Pleasure to welcome the one and only Dr. Michael Sulin. From, he was an interventional radiologist at the University of Pennsylvania. He will be speaking about understanding liver-directed therapy. I'd also like to introduce Dr. Eric Mitra, our colleague who is a nuclear medicine physician at the Oregon Health and Science University. His talk will be Understanding Peptide Receptor Radiotherapy. It is my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Thor Hef Anderson. 
who's a medical oncologist at the Mayo Clinic and is the current Nanette's president. So we love having him here today. And he's going to be discussing with us understanding the latest in systemic treatments and considerations for treatment sequencing, which I think is a, a very, very important topic for our neuroendocrine tumor patients. Also, my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Jadera Del Rivero, who's a medical oncologist at the NIH, who will be actually moderating our NET tumor board panel on understanding NET liver metastasis. And the panel today is really composed of that multidisciplinary team of uh, experts. Uh, so we all have uh, Dr. Eric Mitra, who is a nuclear medicine physician at Oregon Health and Sciences University, Dr. Osma Ahmed, who is an interventional radiologist at the University of Chicago, and my good friend and colleague, Dr. Gagadeep Singh, who is a surgical oncologist uh, here at City of Hope.